Welcome to Take 5. Here is your host, Dr. Driver. Welcome to Take 5. I'm your host, Dr. Driver. Today, I'm going to focus on a scripture verse that we need to be reminded to practice every day, to be reminded that we are God's children. It is 1 John chapter 4, verse 8. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Now, I want to read it to you because reading the Word is powerful. I love listening to audio tapes of the Word of God, but reading it, it's very powerful. So, 1 John 4, verse 8. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. I wrote a book on love called Expressive Love. You can find it on Amazon and so on. Here's where I want to go with this. There are people that are going to hate you. There are people who are going to despise you because you claim you are, you are a Christian. If you're a Christian, listen to me carefully, if this is the key here, if you are a Christian, you will show love. If you heard the previous version of Take 5 or a couple episodes back, I talked about being imitators of God and God is love. This verse, 1 John 4, verse 8 says, But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. That's the key here. God is love. That's his nature. That's who he is. God is love. He's holy, yes, but I'm talking about who is God. God is love. He's not hate. He's love. Listen to me. He's not hate. He's love. So you cannot claim to be a child of God if you hate your brother. You can't claim to be a child of God if you hate your leadership. If you, you, I'm using the word hate. The antithesis of love, listen to me, the antithesis of love is hate. So if you hate anyone, you're not a child of God. Let me read it again. 1 John 4, verse 8. But anyone who does not love does not know God. For God is love. Look at me. This is important. Do you love your brothers and sisters in Christ? Do you really love them? And if you do, you're a Christian. Do you love those who don't love you? Could be family members. Could be those that work for you. Do you love them? They don't love you, but do you love them? If you do, you are a Christian. Don't love those who love you only. Love those who don't love you. Listen to me. Jesus made it very clear. Many people will hate you because of me, he said. But you must show that you are a child of God. And how are you going to show you are a child of God? The answer is, by the love you show one another. Read 1 Corinthians 13 if you want to know what love is as well. I love the first epistle of John. I love the gospel of John. But if you are a Christian, let me close with this. You will love everyone. Love is patient and love is kind. It doesn't take records of what somebody did to you. It endures all things. The gifts of God that remain in us, around the family of God, the church, the greatest gift God has given us is love. So if you're a child of God, Start showing the world that you are his child by loving one another. You want to see people get along? Love them. Show kindness. Pray for those who persecute you and bless those who curse you. That is a mark, a sign that you are a child of God because God 
is love. Let me pray. Father, I pray that you fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we may love one another as you loved us. Loved us. Your great gift as you sent your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for us. That was love. Let us return the same love back to the world by sacrificing ourselves in a world that is conflicted, a world that's full of evil, but let us show by offering a sacrifice of love to everyone we meet. Love overcomes a multitude of sins, your word says. So I pray, Lord God, teach us to love. Fill us with your love so we may love one another. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.